All right, NTG Grinders, we are back for what is round three. I think I said at the end of the last round that we're back for round two, so you've got to be a bit excited there. Um, but yeah, we were able to see how good Dash was in that round as well, um, featuring some of the new mechanics, which is quite good. Um, so we got to see interactions with some of the cards, uh, which is quite good. So we're on the play again. Let's see if we can get a similar draw and have a bit of success. All right, now we're a bit, we've got access to our um, Arc Fiend or Depravity, and... We've got one card that we can cast at the moment, Air of the Wilds. Now, this is a pretty tough keep. It's pretty tough. Um, Reef Spells fall in on the play. I'm going to keep. Um, I think the fact that the power of that Archfiend, I mean, it's a long way off, but I think the, the raw power of it gives us a lot of options. Plus, if the opponent doesn't have removal, Air of the Wilds will sit in front of a lot of stuff for a while, so it's quite good. And we get our plans for our Dragon Bell guy, so that's pretty cool too. Works really well with the tap ability um, of the, uh, you know, the spell that taps the things uh, that we've got in our deck. Wow, all right. What you? My opponent has Bloodstoke Champion. That's cool. Just attack. We don't care. We don't care. There's no blocks for you. Now, Swamp would be a great draw. So actually, tap draw, tap draw a card. Is that it? Really, that really, oh, just come on with the lands. Alright, we've got access to this guy, so that's cool. So, play our 3 3. But it doesn't have a great attack, but I mean, if he attacks, we're not going to block. I mean, it's just silly. Now, opponent, like. I don't. I don't get. It. As I said before, everyone playing with all the colors of the lands. You know. And the interesting thing here is, yeah, if we did block and he has a spell, raid. Oh, so sick of that card. I mean, I've been like dominated by that card. All right, let's see what we can do with this guy. Let's do nothing with this guy for a start. Game for three. Let's kill shot first. Trigger prowess. Block, block, do some things. What does our opponent have? Okay. No call. Our opponent hesitantly moves to combat.
And he gets in there. A trot's on. Trigger and prowess. All right. See what happens here. Good trades. I mean, Bloodstock Champion knows obviously comes back, but that's what our opponent has for this. One, two, three, four, five. A manifest guy. Okay. So here's a four, four. It's cool. Let's see what happens here. That's four tap lands. Five mana, throttle. Oh, <sighs> dear. They always have it. They always have it. Like, can my guys just survive one turn? Please? One turn. That's all I'm asking. It's not much, right? Am I right? No, I'm not right. So I got plans on the mani manifest plan. Do it. Do it, attack. Boo. We'll play our tokens. Trigger prowess for nothing, but it's okay. They definitely could be relevant, so. Okay. Some of our green big guys would be fantastic right about now. So what's up? It's got five spells in the graveyard. Six land in play. We have four spells in the graveyard. With six, seven land in play, one in hand. So we haven't drawn very well. I mean, ooh. Seems lucky for you. Okay. Okay. We've got some things to think about here.
Okay, let's see how we roll. Let's see what happens here. Definitely not the greatest, uh, greatest for us, but uh, again, um, what have we drawn? You know, we've drawn three creatures. Um, yeah, cup, one removal spell. Four creatures, five, six creatures, one removal spell. I mean, it's probably fair, but you know. It's got a lot of answers for us at the moment. So it's actually five color. Unreal. I don't get. I don't. I, I just don't get it. I don't. Forgive me. I don't understand how this game works. Okay. Looks like we're going to get boned pretty bad here, guys. We're not drawing anything at all of any relevance. So it looks like we're going to bring out the Jess guy build and see if that can get the job done. Um. Ramble. Get smashed again here. I was just gonna say it. That is game. And draw another swamp. Alright, let's get this second deck into play. Alright. I think I did forget Nas at the last time I actually boarded this deck in too, so that's something I've got to be aware of. All right. Twenty three. Was that it? Arrow storm. Frostwalker was the other card. Hmm. Nah, I think we'll I think we'll play it as it is.
Cool. Let's get in for game two, round three. All right, I guess we want to play first. And we've got our, um, okay, let's keep. Get a couple of early points in here. I mean, it's going to mitigate the, the lands that come and play tap for our opponent. So we've got our colors and so forth. We can draw some early, early guys here. A couple of prowess guys to get things going. Nice to, yeah, let's see what we can do. Hopefully we can get off to a good curve here. I mean, it's not a good start, but... Prana has like 16 tap lands and doesn't draw any of them. Lucky him. Alright. Okay, that's fine. Oh dear. See what happens. Good, sir. Oops. Nasa off the top would be great here. Not land. Come on, deck. Fuck me. Just got us. Just uh, really, I mean, you've seen the jaws, guys. So there's not much I can do. Um, not much I can do. What is this guy? It's amazing. <laughs> I, yeah, all right, deck. Just draw nothing. Crazy. All right. Well, let's just get going here. See if we can get pull something out of our behinds. Kill shot off the top. You know, one of the two kill shots. Sure. Why not do that? <laughs> what a joke. What a joke of a draw. All right. 
Good game, Magic the Gathering. Good game. All right, well, guys, uh, that was round three, and uh, we are done, Dustin. So uh, we'll finish it off there and come back for round four shortly to finish it off. Hopefully we can crank out a win to end the day.